we have been talking about the possibility of Mike Skinner having a push as David Rudeman tries to get right up behind him. Rudeman has been running on the inside of the track. We'll see if he can hold the inside line and get by Mike Skinner. Skinner moving up. Rudeman on the inside. They're side by side as they go down the back stretch. For the lead, inside of two laps to go. David Rudeman got that great run off turn number two, but Mike Skinner fights back. Here comes Mike Skinner. If he's got a push, this is going to hurt him. As he, and he does get up the track. It's David Rudeman on the inside. A clear leader now as they come down the trioval. White flag flies. One lap to go for David Rudeman. Look at Bill Lester going for the second position. Went all the way down in the apron. Bill Lester, who spun out early, has moved his way all the way back into second. That's exactly what the 17 needed. Here comes Ted Musgrave on the inside battling for second. David David Rudeman out in front. Bill Lester. They're three wide. Here comes Mike Skinner trying to take second back. It's David Rudeman, though, out in front of this one. As the battle continues for second, the NTN bearings of David Rudeman will see the checkered flag for the first time in his career. What a terrific race. Look at him racing three wide back there for about fourth. They did some swapping there in that last corner now. Skinner, he slid back up in front of those guys. I believe Musgrave got right back around him. What a Jake. Great job by David Rudeman and his entire NTN bearing team. You don't think they're happy, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. David Rudeman thought that two races ago in Memphis, he lost his first ever win by missing a shift on the restart. Now he's able to work his way by Mike Skinner and claim his first ever win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series in just his 41st start. Wendy, who have you caught up with?